And Josh, people can now support Vermont's resilience on the front of their car. Many of you may have already purchased the 2023 version of the Vermont Strong Plate. ABC 22 Zoe Peterson has more on the new initiative. Well, life and safety comes first, uh, but getting the businesses back up and running uh, so that we can pull the communities back together, trying to, to get some relief to them, give them some certainty, uh, trying to get them back on their feet. Governor Phil Scott's Vermont Strong Initiative is working to unite communities across the state by providing aid to flood victims through unique license plates. The announcement of the new plates, We Are Vermont Strong 23 and Tough 2, serve as a powerful reminder of the challenges flood victims continue to face. What sets the license plates apart, however, is the direct impact they're having on the recovery process. With each one costing $35, half of the proceeds will support the Vermont Community Foundation, an organization working to address the most significant disaster relief needs of individual Vermonters. The initiative has also quickly gained attraction, with people eager to participate in supporting their fellow Vermonters. Paul DeSells, a Burlington resident, initially heard about the announcement through social media. I think it's a wonderful way for people to contribute, where I think some people may be afraid to give money because of fraud and things like that, where this, everybody knows the proceeds are going 100% to flood relief victims. I think it's a great idea. DeSells adds he still has a car with the Vermont Strong phrase from Tropical Irene. Nikki Coast lives in Colchester. While this is Coast's first time hearing about the new place, she says anything to do with helping Vermonters is a win. I think it's an easy way to help with a recovery process. Um, I think Vermont Strong is a, is a very strong phrase that represents Vermonters and just the tenacity of the state. An additional half of proceeds is going towards the Agency of Commerce and Community Development's Business Emergency Gap Assistance Program to support employers' reopening and reemployment process. Taz Cook, who also lives in Colchester, says he has seen a lot of the license plates around throughout the years. However, Cook adds the phrases We Are Vermont Strong 23 and Tough 2 will be a good wake-up call and a constant reminder for fellow Vermonters. On a daily basis, we we take a lot of what we do daily for granted, and when a natural disaster occurs, I think we don't worry about the people that have been impacted. License plates can also be purchased in person at all Vermont Department of Motor Vehicles locations starting September 1st. And if you do not want to physically buy a license plate, direct donations will be accepted through the Department of Motor Vehicles website. Reporting in South Burlington, Zoe Peterson, ABC 22 News. In Crime Watch, a Winooski man is behind.